I mean, it's definitely nice to be close to Chinatown and Gay Village compared to living, you know, out in EPN like I used to because it's so far away um, to the city life. And uh, where right now I can, you know, just like easy access to places. My name is Jinli. I'm from China. Um, I've lived in Canada for three years now, and I identify as queer. Yeah, definitely. I'll give you some information. Um, so my experience on uh, living on Somerset Street, but right now I live in downtown Ottawa and um, very close to the gay village, which is, which is on Bank Street. And um, it's very close to grocery store and um, other stores in restaurants um it's very convenient mm, you know it's nice it's nice to live on some of the street because there's like a very close to a uh, bus station and stuff and the 11 bus that uh, can go to Bayshore and uh, goes to downtown and it's very convenient um Chinatown and Ottawa is very small um but definitely there's a lot of Asian communities. Still, there's a lot of Asian communities that live in Chinatown and uh, within the Chinatown area. Uh, also, I think it's totally important for a uh, city to have features like Chinatown or Little Italy, um, stuff like that. Because um, first of all, Canada is a big, um, how do I say, immigration country. And there's a lot of immigrants here, and it's important to feature the cultural areas within the cities, no matter you know uh, the size of the city. I think it's important to have um, those cultural areas within the city because um, it's important to make people feel belong. It's definitely a good thing to do, and um, yeah, it's a good thing to do. To be honest, I think. The Chinatown in Ottawa is so small, it's because maybe um, Ottawa as a city, it's just like, it's it's a, it's the capital city, but it's still, um, it's a medium-sized city. So I think it might be just, um, I don't know, because of the city, it's not very big. So yeah. other features to the city is not also big or put you know energy and thoughts to it like the gay village and Chinatown and even little Italy like it's not so fancy um, gay village in Ottawa is definitely too small for me every year when it's uh, when it when it's pride when it's pride month and uh, especially 
um, the day when the parade start, uh, I definitely think like it's it's a good place for the gays to come out and celebrate. But to be like specifically in Ottawa, uh, the gay village is too small. But I still like I think it's still nice to have it in Ottawa, where as a as a queer person like I come to Ottawa and I know oh there's a gay village uh, in Ottawa and I just like that that's nice to know the uh, there's a community in the city. So you ask me, how do I feel live? Uh, live here in Canada. I mean, it's definitely um, a better place for queers. That's for sure. Um, because I don't, um, even though it's more like how I feel internally, but uh, when I'm back at home in China, I definitely cannot um, be um, how I want to be and what I want to be as like it's different than being here because it's just uh, like nobody will tell you what to do or like you should be this and you should be that so it's nice and there's definitely you know small things to mention is that um, I definitely feel more open to myself and to just be myself and not afraid of what other people would judge me. I think home to me, um, wherever I feel um, belong, I feel like home. Like uh, home doesn't have to necessarily be with my family or where I grow up, home can be where I live right now uh, with my partner and uh, my friends and um, there's a lot of happy memories. Uh, uh, I create, we create a lot of happy memories together and uh, that's what's important about home I guess.